So before we start this video, make sure you at least know Intuitive F2L. So the first F2L case is this one here, where we have the white sticker facing the side and none of the colors here match. So with this case, we want to pair them up by moving the edge to the other side. But make sure that the back slot is not solved as this, as this will uh, ruin the back slot. So like that, that pairs the the F2 oil pair up and you can go into the insert. So when you're on last slot and you get this F2 oil case, um, I did say before that uh, you don't want to ruin the back F2 oil pair, but in this case it's actually fine to put this at the back because we can restore it later. So um, when you get this case from this angle, you, you can just imagine that there's no uh, F2 oil pair there, even though there is. So we pair them up. Uh, in the usual way, keep in mind that that does take this F2 oil pair out. Um, just insert the normal way, and as we insert, just over rotate, and we can put the F2 oil pair back into position. Another way to do this F2 oil pair, which which does not disturb the back slot at all, is to from this angle insert the edge into its correct position, and the corner ends up back here. So we move it over, and we just do this F2 oil case, which uh, you do by pairing the edge with the corner like that and inserting. So the next F2L case, this one, uh, it can be recognized by once again the white on the side but in this case there are matching colors on the top. So the uh, proper way to do this F2L case is to hide the edge by doing this R move here and then moving the corner over the edge like that and that pairs the pair up ready for the insert. Another way to do this F2O case into this slot uh, without a rotation is to do uh, these moves here. So that pairs them up and you can insert without a rotation. So when you get the case from this angle, um, you could rotate and do it from here. Uh, but a rotationless way to do it from this angle is to move this pair to the side and on the other side, so this side, the right side here, do a sledgehammer. And that pairs this F2O pair up and you can go straight into the insert. So the next F2O case I want to talk about is this one here. It can be recognized with um, the white sticker pointing upwards and the, there are no matching colors here. So the way to do it is to hide the edge and move the corner over the edge using a U2. So hide the edge, move the corner over like that, and that pairs the pair up ready for the insert. So from this angle, if you get this case, uh, you could rotate and do it like that. But from this angle, you could also do it without a rotation, and that is to insert the corner like that. and then. Uh, go straight into a sledgehammer and that pairs the pair up uh, ready for the insert. So the final way to do this F2O pair from this angle uh, is to insert the edge here and then once again go straight into a sledgehammer and that pairs the corner and edge up uh, ready for the insert. The final F2O case I want to talk about is this F2O case here. So it is when the white sticker is facing upwards and there are colors matching here. So with this F2O case, what you want to do is to insert the corner into the slot like that. And then move the edge over and then solve this F2O case by hiding the edge, moving the corner on top and inserting. So another way of doing this F2O case into this slot, uh, you can insert the edge into here like that. Uh, then you can move the corner over and then pair the F2 or pair like so and you can go straight into the insert. So for this case, uh, when you get it here, you could rotate and do it this way or you could do it from this angle using a different algorithm. Uh, it's a really easy one, it's just F inverse sexy F prime and that pairs this pair up also ready for the insert and it's rotationless as well. Thanks for watching, hope you learned something, see you next time.